Well, aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Very happy to be connecting with you today. It's a Tuesday, and it's just afternoon here in Hawaii. Got a pretty day out. Just got a little bit of rain, but can't complain too much. I'm in Hawaii, right? And not too long in the distant future here, a month or two, I will be sitting in Belgium, as I've been best blessed to, um, to be able to serve over in Belgium at the center over there. So that'll be fun. But in the meantime, I will continue to serve you in this way. And I will continue my live streams, of course. They may go through a little metamorphosis and how I do them and what I do in them. But I will be here to serve you as well. <coughs> so we've got quite a few people joining us. Welcome, Shelly. Welcome, Becky. Welcome, Samba. Aloha, Annie Savage. Welcome, Anne-Marie. Aloha, Rosetta. Welcome, Darshan. And welcome Candy, Aloha Nelson, and thank you Kristen for your service. Thank you for clicking the share button. Although on days like this when I do soul readings, it's never a lack of people. Everybody wants to get soul readings. That's pretty easy for them to do. So today I'm going to be offering guidance, uh, soul guidance from your soul. I checked. I was going to offer guidance from Kuan Yin, and the answer was no. I offer guidance from their soul. <coughs> I said, okay. I can do that. I'm sure their soul has a lot to share. And so um, we'll see how that works out. I'm not quite sure uh, what the responses or answers will be, of course. It's guidance. But in any case, I'll give everybody a little background. So I did put uh, a link to my web page for those that would like individual uh, soul readings. And this, uh, what is a soul reading? It's basically connecting to heaven, connecting in this case to your soul or your heaven's teams, and receiving the guidance to a question. Uh, when I do soul readings for individuals, it's usually a half hour or an hour. A half hour is good for about three or four questions, and an hour is good for six to eight questions. Uh, typically, the answers can be anywhere from a single word up to uh, uh, a minute or two of explanation. Uh, oftentimes, the soul world has a lot to share uh, with that individual that's doing the soul reading. So it just depends on the person and their openness uh, to receiving the guidance. Uh, sometimes questions lead to more questions, which is also a value in having a soul reading is uh, you can get that additional guidance. So if after I do this today there's interest in, in a private reading, then just follow the link that I posted uh, at the top of the chat. Welcome Candy, welcome Kristen, aloha to, uh, to Dan, welcome Krista, uh, welcome also to uh, Jen, anybody else whose name I have not mentioned, thank you for your presence. Alejandro, thank you for your presence. And Maria Villegas, thank you. So uh, what we're going to do is I will set up, of course, the uh, we want to have the right frequency for this in order for me to um, be attuned and to receive guidance from your soul, then I need to be attuned to uh, the right channels, so to speak, <laughs> the right frequency. It's kind of like when you're on a radio dial and if you're not dialed in just right, you don't hear it very well. So we're going to do that first, and then uh, I will open the uh, the lines. You guys can ask questions. Um, I will do my best to keep it only to one question per person. Do not ask more than one question, <clears throat> and then we'll see. Okay? So let's connect first. For those of you that are new, not familiar, always invite in the beings of light. Always set the field with the song of love, peace, and harmony. So it's a blessing. So you can open your heart to receive. Dear the divine, dear the source, dear our mother and father Shurfu's heavens teams, our individual souls, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, honor you, respect you. I bow my heads to you. I ask for your presence at this time. Specifically for all those that ask questions, I ask your soul to be present so that you can guide me to offer the highest guidance to the individuals that are asking the questions. I'm very grateful. Dear the song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls and all universes, please turn on. We ask you to please, at this time, bless this practice, bless this uh, guidance. Please bless each and every person on the line as we sing love, peace, and harmony. Help us to join heart to heart, soul to soul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So as we sing this song, <coughs> um, Please connect. Now, also, before you guys start 
loading up with questions. Be specific on your question, okay? Don't just say, give me some guidance. Um, it's too vague. I need something specific. Uh, what's happening with my job? Uh, give me the, the name of the company if you can. What's going on with, with this relationship with RL, uh, my boyfriend? You know, I'm not a psychic. I don't pull stuff out of the air, okay? So uh, give me um, some parameters to work with so that I can give you the highest and best guidance. Be specific. Do not ask for a general reading, please, okay? All right. <clears throat> Let us sing. For those that are unfamiliar, prepare to receive a blessing. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Wo I wash in her ling. Wo I twan and lay. Rung ling, rung her musher shung. Shung I ping on her she. Shung I ping on her she. In English, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Perfect. How? All right. Welcome, Linda Griffiths. Uh, welcome, Maria Villagas. Ali. Welcome, Shelly. Welcome, Becky Lafave. Welcome, Crane. Uh, and aloha. Let's see if I missed anybody. Welcome, Kevin Weiss. Erica, welcome. Carrie Horton, Hawthorne. And welcome, Criselda. Okay. So I will flip back here, see if there's any questions. I will start taking your very specific questions for guidance. There's got to be an area in your life that you would like an answer to. I'm going to roll past those and just ask for general guidance. Welcome, Morgana. I see several general guidance questions. I'm going to roll past those. Please rewrite, ask something specific. So four people have asked for general guidance. Again, go back in, write a specific question. Okay, Samba says, I would like to know the practical application for me to open my heart and align more with the divine. Okay. Dear Samba, dear Samba's soul, could you please offer Samba this guidance as appropriate? My dear Samba, the greatest blockage you have is self-love. You are quite willing to give everything to everyone. But it is underlying it all in relationship to being loved, being accepted, being enough. In order to fully develop your heart, you must align to loving yourself the way the divine loves you. It's a simple sentence, but if you repeat it and really love yourself the way the divine loves you, then you will move to the next higher level of your understanding. This is the simple answer to the question. This is your soul. How? Uh, Candy says, any guidance for her spiritual path? The soul of Candy, Candy's soul, please offer guidance for Candy this time. Hi. 
how this is Candy's soul. There is a bit too much flickering around, exploring this and exploring that. And there is nothing really wrong with having an explorative mind. But when it comes to spirituality, it is important to attune to one, two, or maybe three very specific beneficial service and practices that you know always put you in the right place whether it's a very specific form of meditation or a very specific form of practice by doing more of what works you will far expand your spiritual awakening and allow yourself to receive more accurate guidance by exploring too many different possibilities you water down the information and therefore may miss the most pertinent and important information for your spiritual journey so by focusing you are allowing yourself to open your vessel to hear more clearly and thereby stay more aligned to your path this is your soul how Okay. <clears throat> Linda, she would like to know if it will, Linda Griffiths, I would like to know if, it, if I will start earning income with my energy work soon. Okay. For the soul of Linda and her uh, soul, please come at this time. Please offer this guidance. Hey, you, you, you. My dear Linda, this is your soul. There is multiple aspects of why this is not able to leap off the ground yet. You have confidence in your abilities, but others do not necessarily. This does not mean giving away free. This does mean possibly putting yourself in a place where you offer one or two examples to group, uh, one or two people in group, where others witness the benefit or result. Then bring a one time only discount for those that may show interest. There is also the need to um, separate yourself from the crowd. Uh, create a symbol and or name that is unique. Uh, also, be open to applying your services to those in need as a service specifically the good karma generated will help to bring energetic visibility to you there is somewhat of a I don't want to say a dark cloud but it's more like a like a fog uh, that it doesn't want to support this and it has to do with the past life karma so there's a need to do uh, some forgiveness around the misuse of these kinds of powers in previous time and you might need to do that a couple of times uh, really you know attuned to some previous mistakes and really ask forgiveness for misusing these kinds of abilities before and then that cloud should lighten and but it's not just once or twice you need to do it enough times to where it goes away the cloud is more of the problem than anything how okay 
Shelly, uh, should I take Fenibin to make her well? I get yes, but in small doses, and make sure you're monitoring it well. I also hear that CBD could be beneficial for you. Erica, dear Master Paul, what do I do with Zachary and his school? This did a soul of Erica, did a soul of Zachary. Both their souls, please come. Please offer guidance at this time. So what I'm hearing um, is that although it might not be affordable, it may be of value to have a specialist sitting next to Zachary for a couple of weeks and just monitoring, um, sitting next to her in the back and just monitoring how he is in the class, uh, his actions or non-actions, um, disruptions, whatever is occurring so that there is a um, insights as to what's going on so that uh, suggestions and changes can be made, if needed, to bring about a benefit for everybody involved. How? Uh, Jen says, what's happening with my relationship with ES? So dear the soul of Jen, could you please come, please offer guidance with this question. So um, your soul says, his soul really likes you. His soul really appreciates you. His soul knows that you're good for this person. But his soul also knows that this person is not necessarily good for you where you're at. And because of the love of his soul for you, he's, there's basically a communication of, you know, don't, don't go there. Just this person needs to grow on his own maybe a year or two years down the road uh, there there could be enough significant shift but you might be a completely different person by then so it's more of um of a um, you've completed uh, part of the contract you have at the level of soul uh, and that's also why there's a, a deep connection because it is uh, a, a long-standing communication between you two many lifetimes but you've completed this lifetime contract in your assistance process. Uh, and so you have to focus on you. This, his soul is actually the one that's telling me this. And um, uh, just focus on you, basically. Huh? Okay, Carter McClear, aloha Carter. Hello, Master Paul, would you please tell me what to do for the bone growth on the root of my mouth? So dear Carter's Carter. Carter's soul, please offer this guidance. How? This is your soul. The bone growth is as a result of the imbalanced function of calcium in your body. It is important to do your homework around the other constituents that allow calcium to be properly uh, broken down and distributed through the body. This includes magnesium, some specific Acids, you know, like the, I can't think of the kind of acids there, you know, like the, um, 
<sighs> amino acids, thank you. Some specific amino acids. Pho I'm hearing phosphorus. But uh, consider learning more in this arena and then um, bringing these additional vitamins, minerals, nutrients. Um, also check with naturopaths as they may have seen something like this before and may have a similar solution. How? Becky Lafave. Uh, have been working on my highest self and getting many downloads lately. Am I on the right track, Master Paul? <clears throat> this will Becky, please come. How? This is Becky's soul. My beloved Becky. You must be cautious. The transmissions, downloads, and treasures are not the, uh, the one-off solution. They are unquestionably of high value and unquestionably bring, bring great benefit and result. But you must look deeper as to the roots and the precursors for it is said that 50 percent is the transmissions 50 percent is your business this is important for you um, there is You place yourself in a position of mental, emotional weakness, spiritual weakness, uh, in that you uh, give up all that you are capable of and say, please, um, please all these treasures, transmissions, solve all my problems. That's not how it works, dear one. You cannot give up your... Uh, power in this way you must maintain and increase your power you must take responsibility for all things in your life and utilize these treasures and transmissions to further shear off and clear away these blockages and with each positive affirmation that something has shifted or removed you further build on your strength, consciousness, and awareness. This is where the uh, this is where the uh, disconnect is. So go back and re-strengthen your personal um, self-responsibility. How? Okay, Krista. If I'm drawn, my question. Could you please advise my next career move is I had to leave my toxic job two months ago. Okay. So look, Krista, please come. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, uh, I'm hearing something in the teaching fields, Krista. Um, you, you, it, is, it appears you have a natural ability to educate and to teach. It doesn't mean being a, a teacher for second, third grade. This could be preschool. This could be uh, on a specific subject matter that maybe you have knowledge in. It could mean becoming a consultant. Um, but something that, that isolates around teaching. So start asking yourself, where is my knowledge base? What can I, uh, how can this be expanded into fields I might not have considered? And then also, um, if you don't have any of those, then look at how you can uh, take on a vocation or a skill set that allows you to be a teacher. So that's what I'm hearing. Okay, Maria Villegas, please give me guidance in my spiritual growth. Okay, and so Maria, please come, please offer guidance for Maria. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. 
how this is Maria's soul. My beloved Maria, you have great faith in your beloved Jesus, in Mother Mary, in your Creator. This faith can move mountains. It is this faith that is of the most important to grow. You apply it in many areas of your life, but you do not necessarily live it in many areas of your life. The areas where there is, quote, imbalance or trouble, so to speak, you, you call upon these beings of light and your creator as if they're going to come and save the day. Uh, and then you wade through the problem. Whereas, as they say in the Far East, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of gold. In other words, in applying this wisdom to your life, knowing clearly that God, Jesus, and Mother Mary are supporting you one million percent in all your thoughts, words, and actions at the highest and deepest level possible will steer you much better. Don't give up the power know the power you still have to be responsible but when you move into knowingness in all areas of your life not just the ones you are accustomed to applying this to then you will be far more advanced on your spiritual journey how okay <clears throat> you're welcome samba uh liza Please, what do I need to focus on to release whatever causes my anger? I've been doing shadow work and try to meditate. How oh, this is your soul, my beloved Liza. Your anger is partially your and partially your ancestor-related spiritual debts. There is associations with alcohol and alcoholism. There is association and quite a bit of anger having been caused upon others. There is quite a bit of repressed anger from areas in your childhood related to siblings and even parents for not listening. Uh, so, some association with abuse. These angers and repressed angers uh, have accumulated in such a way that things just fly out. The solution would be to work with the discovery of those things in this life remembered but repressed to apply the deepest, highest wisdom of forgiveness for those in this life that have taken advantage of you in your youth and as importantly to offer and ask forgiveness specifically ask forgiveness for the mistakes you parents and ancestors have made causing extraordinary anger in other people's lives there were Quite a few unpleasant actions made in other times by yourself and ancestors that caused others to suffer greatly 
and their anger has not been quenched. It is not dissipated. They wish to bring reminders to you. So by doing consistently, often, deep forgiveness for things you don't remember and for things you do, you will discover that a lot of this will leave you. There is, through this one speaking and through other master teachers, transmissions that can, can that can significantly help the release of this particular emotion. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So hopefully that assists you. If you want to know more about the blessings that can be received through master teachers, there's other master teachers besides myself that can do it, but you can contact me if you want. Uh, Kim Yancey, open to any guidance that comes up. I feel there's a message I need to hear. I'm not doing general guidance, Kim. Um, you have to ask a specific question, so think about it, and then write in again a very specific question. Um, okay, Jen, I'm going to pass you up. I've already given you one, and there's other people in line. Uh, Bernadette Smith, I would like to know what is ahead of me in my life. I am going for a specific back surgery op Thursday. I feel like a dark cloud is hanging over me. How this is your soul. The surgery for the most part, will be successful in that it will not create additional complications. The recovery process, however, could be longer than expected. It is suggested that you become familiar with, this is your soul talking, that you become familiar with the transmissions and the Tao Chong for the condition of back pain and back relief. There is a value in receiving these blessings before and after because the root cause of this suffering is related to the mistakes made in other times and although the surgery will assist in the physical world release of this suffering the spiritual debt will be not impacted and still present it is the release of the spiritual debt that will create the release of the suffering and your return to a far less painful experience. How? Oh. So again, it, uh, it may sound like I'm suggesting that you get blessings. Uh, this is not about the money. There is an honor for you to receive those kinds of blessings, but having worked with people with significant back issues, it would be wise to learn more about it so you can make additional choices if if you know more about it, you can make additional choices that could serve you, okay? So now the questions are moving too fast and it's passing people up. Gregory, how do I balance myself financially with my new business partners, therapists, teachers, etc.? I have to start apologizing now. Too many questions are coming in. People will get passed up. It's a Facebook issue. I can't stop it. Gregory, balance myself financially with my new business partners, therapists teachers hey 
How? This is your soul, my beloved Gregory. You have some apprehensions that are not necessarily um, grounded in any degree of foundedness. The easiest way to ensure getting along with everyone is to apply the simple task of listening. You will discover that by being a good listener, by not necessarily uh, injecting so much about yourself, that others will naturally like you. And this will lead to a positive and supportive environment. You might find one person that has a bit of a chip on their shoulder, but you will again discover that listening and not taking anything personally, they could become a good friend. This is our guidance at this time. This is your soul. How? Next person that shows up is Shevan Muhammad. Wants to know about work and finances. It's very generic. Please ask um, more specific questions. I'll do the best I can. How? In the current condition for you, this is your soul, there is status quo. Higher education would serve you well. This includes the possibility of a new vocation. There is not necessarily much shift that is seen in the income at this time without additional effort or education. How? Nimwala, what can I do to address my fear of speaking up? To the soul of Nim, please come. <laughs> This is your soul. My beloved Nim, the root cause of your fear of speaking up is that you will not have a voice to respond to the response. You are not necessarily afraid of the response so much as your response to the response. And this is a curious quagmire. For you, I recommend picking two or three close friends and practicing with them. Their role is not to be the friend, but to respond. You give them the information about what you perceive the other person might say, and then they feed that back to you, and then you practice. You should also focus on Speaking in the language of what you are feeling and what you are needing by focusing on this and not focusing on you, 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 you will be able to uh, circumvent potential argument. Again, this is what I'm feeling when I observe this condition occur. And this is what I am needing. Practice, 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 and it will become more comfortable. There are courses and uh, support for this kind of uh, inability to speak your truth. Look for it and take those courses. How? Oh, this is your soul. <clears throat> okay, again, if people got passed up, forgive me. Uh, Deborah, I question the path I am on. Okay. I shouldn't say forgive me. Forgive Facebook because the other one is moving this too fast. They won't let me scroll backwards. Deborah, questioning the path she's on. My beloved Deborah, I am your soul. You do not trust your intuition when you need to. 
and yet at other times you are spot on and react appropriately. The times that you do not trust are when you have usurped your power and given it to others. Ascertain where you have given up your power. You will discover that this is also where you question your path. Then rely upon your intuition in this specific area where you have discovered the giving up of your power. Do not fail to act on your intuition, for I am aligned to it as your soul, and I am here to serve you. How? Okay, Wix Baji. I always have feelings that I will be wealthy, but I don't know what to do to accomplish that feeling. So, to the soul of Wix, uh, any guidance from his soul? How? This is your soul. This feeling is because of more than one lifetime in which you were a crown prince, a royalty, if you will. And basically, you were customary to having all that you wanted. Wealth was assumed. And this assumption is present in this life as well. You chose this life and chose to make it a bit more difficult on yourself so that you could grow spiritually because in essence you did not grow at all in those lifetimes where you were born into families of wealth um, you were not necessarily indignant with your money uh, but you also did not necessarily bless others even though you had more than enough. So you have chosen this life with less wealth to learn. My suggestion as your soul is to do exactly that. Earn your income. Generate a path through which an outcome can be determined and your wealth can be experienced. Do not expect it to fall in your lap as you have been accustomed to. And it may be hard, yes, in the country and environment you're in, but remember, you have chosen this. And those who strive the hardest have the greatest rewards. But most importantly, remember that all ships rise in the harbor when the tide comes in. So be sure that in your upward movement, you do not step on others on the way up, but in fact, lift them up as well. This will ensure the spiritual growth you hoped to acquire in this time, in this lifetime. How? So, Nim, I just gave the answer. So, if you missed it, go back and listen. Uh, Aloha, Chris. Great to see you here. Priska is the next one I see. Want to know about her work and finances? How for you, my dear Prisca? There is uh, opportunity with a special, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like an MLM or a specialty side job or something that you do along with what you're doing. Uh, and it seems kind of like something related to trinkets or jewelry or gems or something of that nature. Um, necklaces, I don't know, something to do with, with the buying and selling of those kinds of things, creation of it, whatever it might be. And this will bring additional wealth to you. But I don't see much shift in the current uh, condition outside of that. <coughs> welcome, Laurie. Welcome, uh, Suze. Good morning, Phyllis. Welcome, Martina. Good evening. Welcome, Angie. Rosetta asks, "Would you like some clear? Uh, would like some clear guidance where and how to expand her childcare business?" 
How? <clears throat> For our dear Rosetta. Word of mouth is, of course, very important, and this is the first place to start. Secondly, there needs to be more happy, happy face related things in and around the place you do the business, including in the signage. Maybe a happy face playpen house image, something of that nature. Um, <clears throat> thirdly, focus on organics. Provide organic snacks. Um, organic drink snacks, organic food snacks. This can be something that separates you from the others and something that, yes, costs a little bit, but you raise your price accordingly and uh, advertise accordingly. This combination of happy, organic, and referrals should help your business to grow quickly. This is your soul. How? Uh, Helena says um, she's cancer free. Yay, congratulations. Thank you for the support before. So happy to hear that great news. You're very welcome. Angie Taylor, oh, would love a message from her soul, love and blessings. So asking for specific guidance, uh, not uh, questions that is unspecific. So I'm going to um, pass you up, Angie, and go to people that have asked for specific guidance. Gregory Hanover Aquinas, how do I balance myself financially with my new business partners? I did that one. Um, <clears throat> need a lid. Thank you. Liza, thank you very much. Martina, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, Lori Tartamella, her path for her relationship. Okay, so Lori, soul of Lori, please come. So I will be able to do uh, three more, including Lori. After that, I have to stop. How this is your soul. There is sometimes in relationships a lack of intimacy where there is complete sharing of everything that is going on in the other's mind. You tend to not have that problem. But there tends to be this problem with the other. And it is more about their processes, not necessarily about trusting or not trusting. And it is in their processes that they tend to circle and create problems that on some levels they enjoy having because that's how they've lived their whole life. And on some levels they don't know how to change. They are not used to nor familiar with um, bouncing it off of others, opening up to others, sharing with others. And so therein lies the dilemma. For in order for you to enhance any relationship, including this one, that would have a desire to occur. Doing uh, practices in this relationship for opening the heart consistently uh, sitting across from each other holding hands looking in each other's eyes simple things like this even without words could clear blockages and allow the other to open their hearts more to feel comfortable in sharing this is 
what I see at this time. How? Okay, Angie, her question, please to have some. This is uh, two more questions. Angie and Terry are the last ones. Angie, my question is please have some guidance on helping grieve the heartache so I can move forward in deserved relationships and living her purpose more fully. To the soul of Angie, please come. <laughs> How? Hi, Angie, this is your soul. What you need most is fun. What you lack most is fun. You are a fun person. You grew up being a fun person, and you had fun in your uh, teenage years. And that is lacking. So gather your friends and plan several months worth of crazy fun things to do. Take the time off work. Find someone to watch the kids. Just make the time to do stupid, crazy, fun things. Things that you haven't done before. Maybe you do face painting. Maybe you <clears throat> go to the woods and blindfold yourself and follow uh, the lines through the trees. Uh, maybe you do something you've never done before. Whatever it is, break the mold, go have fun lots and lots of it this will cause you to heal your heart and to realign to your natural self this is your soul how <clears throat> excuse me okay and terry hart this is the last reading i'll be doing today uh, terry says i started seeing 1111 about a year ago and have been practicing all i can sometimes it's hard to really believe even though my angels come to make their presence known, can you please send me confirmation that I'm truly in sync? How? This is your soul. To say that you are truly in sync with me, your soul, with heaven, would be to say that you are a fully enlightened being. So there are layers and stages of, quote, in syncness. You are conscious. You are aware. You are cognizant of staying uh, perceptive to guidance and to insights to things falling on the floor the words and the music to the aha moments that come when you hear words from somebody else's conversation and so forth this is the current level of synchronicity you are a soul manifest in this physical realm you are not your name or your personality you are me your soul having an experience so to truly be what you and i can be start moving more into joyfulness be fully in joy and identify that which separates you from joy Look at how joy can be brought into all those things. Doesn't matter if it's work. It doesn't matter what it is. Many things you may have said, I cannot change. This is, of course, a lie. Because with me, your soul, and with our Creator, all things can be re-manifested. But when we are convinced this is the way it is, then, of course, that is what you manifest. So, can you be more in sync? Yes. How so? By being more in alignment with all that brings joy to your life. And then you will find me much more often and feel the bliss that we are more than capable of feeling. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so 
uh, to all those that asked questions and I was unable to get to you, forgive me. I did the best I could. At the top of my of my post, you have my link <clears throat> where it says um, the address to my website where I talk about soul readings. You can receive a half hour soul reading for uh, $75 or one hour for $150. Uh, for some of you, there were suggestions for specific healing blessings. Uh, one was for the spine, and I forget what the other one was for. <clears throat> but it would be a good idea to learn more about those. They could make a significant difference in your discomfort and suffering levels and your recovery. So um, you can Facebook message me. I'm happy to connect with you that way. Uh, friend me, like me, subscribe. And I look forward to serving you moving forward. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. And I will see you Tuesday, three hours earlier than today. Bye-bye, everybody.